What's up everybody? It's your boy Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back with another video. Before we get started today, I need a couple of things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we're about to look at today. And if you haven't already, I need you to sub up to the channel and do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Now today, the sneaker of... Uh, it's sort of an early release, but we did have a shot drop, so it's just a regular review. Still may be early for others. If you're still on the fence about getting a pair, I hope this video will help you. As we take a look at the box, you see the box. If you recognize the box, you already know what time it is. You can see you got four little holes right here representing the air unit system. Uh, Say it's Nike right there. And right here, and as we turn it around, here you look at that box tag. I'm going to read it for you. See, it's Nike Air Max 186 OG. And the color is White University Red. This is a size 14 personal pair. And I believe the retail is 150 US dollars. As I flip the box top, you do see you have a red lot stamp right here. And you do have a QC sticker right here as well get a load of that top though you got a translucent nike swoosh at the top with your graffiti type box it looks like a regular og nike box but they add a little pizzazz to it you do have your little uh four little holes from your air unit system right there as well we're gonna take a look at the paper you do see those gray lines going across the paper is smooth on one side, rough on the other. Do we get anything else inside the box? No, that completes everything that's in the box. Now, without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Yes, guys, here's an on the feet look of the Air Max 1 Big Bubble. This is the 2023 edition of uh, the fit on these. I say go true to size. These do fit true to size, so no need to size up in your hair made ones. Get a good look at that big bubble. It looks pretty nice on feet. Comment below, let me know what y'all think. Will you guys be going for these on air makes Or did you hit on the shot drop? Okay guys, we have the Air Max 186 OG, the big bubble. Uh, this a little history on the sneaker. Uh, this is a remake of a sneaker that released in 1986 and is releasing again for us in 2023 as part of the festivities for Air Max Day, which is March 26th every year. And this year it actually falls on a Sunday. So how do you guys plan on celebrating Air Max Day? Leave that in the comment section for me down below. Me, myself, I'm probably going to go to church like I should. And I'm going to see what I get into. Because I also have some daddy duties to perform that day. But I do intend to go to some Air Max festivities. Now, this sneaker uh, is going to help celebrate that and commemorate that. And they brought it back in OG form. This is pretty much what the sneaker looked like when it released back in 86. I did not have a pair of these back in 86, but uh can't remember which sneakers I was wearing in 86, but uh I don't know. We're gonna get into the shoe. You got a, a breathable mesh on your upper right here on that uh toe box area. You do have synthetic gray suede right here on your uh, quarter pounding right here and uh, in the gray colorway you got synthetic red or university red suede on the swoosh and going around the mud guard you have university red molded eyelets right here now we're going to look at the polyutherane midsole it is white 
you got your air housing going around your big bubble clear bubble white inside just like the specs from 86 you got a little visible black at the very bottom which leads to the outsole air mask one outsole traditional air mask one outsole the colors just moving around a little you can do see you have air max branding on here or nike air branding that is on here you got black at the heel the forefoot you got that white right there and a little university red at the toe looking at the heel of the sneaker you have an embroidered nike air logo in the university red colorway on top of that synthetic gray suede you do have like a silky type material or satin type material in the white colorway going around your heel and more of that synthetic university red suede right here at the very bottom of the heel we're going to look at the medial side of the sneaker you do have a university red swoosh made of synthetic suede and you have more synthetic suede in that gray colorway or light gray colorway right here on the quarter panel you do have a university red molded eyelet right here and you do have more of that white mesh breathable mesh that is on your upper sam white polyurethane midsole and you do have a big 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 air bubble with the uh clear bubble white inside and the uh, black at the very bottom here you look at the toe box area so you can see the quality of the breathable mesh it kept it true to all uh, form from what i see from videos i've watched from the actual 86 pair is basically spot on oh you do have one set of laces these white flat laces the only pair of laces it come with og style and i got these because i didn't get the or air max one that released in 2017 but if i had those i probably wouldn't have got these so if you have the 2017, you may not need to get these, or if you that hardcore of an Air Max fan, knock yourself out and go ahead and get them. You do have more of that breathable mesh on your tongue, and you have a woven patch right here in the white colorway, and it does say Nike Air Max and University Red on here. Looking at the sock liner, you have a... Uh, gray sock liner and you do have your size implemented right here size 14 things implemented on here that's a gray sock liner does come stuffed with this tissue this is a thick piece of tissue it came stuffed with This is your insert. You have a university red insert. Nice soft colorway. Nice soft material that is. Nike Air branding in white. And look at the bottom of the insert. It looks just like the Air Max 1 outsole. And you can see on the side, US size 14 to 15 MS. You see that? That's what I insert comes inside of the sneaker. So that pretty much wraps it up for this review. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Did you hit on the shock drop? Or are you trying to get these on Air Max Day? Again, let me know that in the comments. And like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know, it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.